Oh. Welcome to On the Job with Lonnie Lou. We are here at Impact Hub Philadelphia to interview Mr. David Wilcox, a paleontologist. So here are some questions for Mrs. Jones's fourth grade class. What is a paleontologist? A paleontologist is a scientist that studies ancient life preserved as fossils. What is the smallest dinosaur? There were um, a number of very small dinosaurs. Two of note are Comsignathus, which, Comsignathus, which is about, was about the size of a chicken, and Microraptor, which was a little smaller than that. Both of them were very small carnivorous dinosaurs. Have you found any new species recently? I have not found any new species. I have found fossil material of in, incomplete specimens that could be new species if more research was done. What was the most common dinosaur? Well, the dinosaurs lived in three geolo main geologic periods, the Triassic, the Jurassic, and the Cretaceous periods. So there were many species in each period. So there's really no common dinosaur. In the late Cretaceous in North America, Triceratops was a very common species. If the T-Rex had longer arms, would it be a more successful hunter? Probably not. To be a more successful hunter, the T-Rex or other carnivorous dinosaurs would have to have run faster or been stronger. And how many bones did the T-Rex have? About 300 bones. In the human body, there's about 212 bones, but in a T-Rex, about 300 bones. Which dinosaur lived the longest? That's not currently known. However, scientists have estimated that the really big long neck dinosaurs, the long neck dinosaurs that may have been 100 feet long or longer, probably lived very long lives, many, many decades. What is the average lifespan of a dinosaur? That, uh, that is a great question, however, the answer to that is currently not known. And are you a volunteer? I am a volunteer at the Academy of Natural Sciences in Philadelphia. I am also a volunteer at the Burke Museum of Natural History in Seattle, Washington. And how many people go to a dig? Anywhere from two to 20 can be on a dig, maybe even more. It depends upon the size of the dig, the size of the animal that is being uh, fossil that has been fossilized and is being excavated, and the amount of access to that location. Thanks, Mr. Dave. Bye. Thank, thank you.